And some people, the reason why they they, they, they are moving about like um, careless is because they don't have any work. Find yourself work. Eh? If you don't have work, look for work for yourself. Find one. If you carry your Bible and be reading it two for seven. Eh, eh, find one. If it is for you to um, how will I say? To go and learn some skills. Go ahead and learn it. If it is for you to to um, how will I say? To go to school. Go. Get yourself educa- educated. Stop um, moving around with friends who are going to turn this image of God in your life. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if this is your first time of coming across this channel, you're welcome. I'm Kenny. I film on lifestyle challenges, faith, and purpose. Like I film on all of them, all the way from Ogun State here in Nigeria. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to my channel. Today I want to speak a little about friendship. Yeah, like it is very very sensitive, right? Friendship. You see, some of us we have friends that we can't even show. Uh, what do I mean by that? Like we have friends. I have a friend I can't show my mom. My mom, this is my friend. What kind of friendship are you doing? I don't know, real she. So um, please and um, please, if you are in any kind of um friendship um that does not glorify God, try and um try as much as possible to find out your way. Hmm? Find out your way. It's not compulsory that you must be in ev- you must be everybody's friend. No, it is never compulsory that you must be everybody's friend. Have you seen any law that says um that um you must be everybody's friend? No, because it is never compulsory. It is never compulsory. You are working with somebody who is not adding value to your life, who is not making your life to glorify God. Rather than for your life to be glorifying God, it is decreasing. Like it is decreasing. It is decreasing. Your life is decreasing. God's glory is going higher every day. That's one thing you should know. So, what is the essence of that work you are working with that person? What is the essence of that work? Are you not supposed to walk away? Walk away from every friendship, from every kind of relationship that does not glorify God in your life before it is too late. Walk away from them. Now, I love everybody that comes my way. Everybody that comes my way is my friend. But when I say that you don't, like, you are not the type that give glory to God. You are not the type that wants to listen when people correct you. You are not the type that you just want to, like, you just want to continue following your own way. Like, you don't want to listen to other people's advice. I'm talking about the positive advice people are giving you. You don't want to listen to it. You don't want to have anything, like, called obedience. Then I walk away. Like I walk away because I can't be forcing myself on you. Like it doesn't make sense. Why would I be forcing myself on you now? I have my precious time to do every other thing on earth. Not them um, to be to be wasting my time on friendship that has no profit. What kind of relationship is that? Okay, I have few friends. I have a lot of friends. Sincerely, I have a lot of friends. But the limit or the limitation of the friendship is. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm fine. Um, um, I, how are you doing? Fine. Hope you are good. Good. That's well, I have some other friends as well that you know now. You know now. <laughs> also, that way, like, you are, you want to disturb yourself. If you are in any kind of relationship that does not glorify God, ensure please try in as much as possible to to work out work out friendship is not by force it is not by force i do tell you most times i do tell you virtually every time it is not by force you are not you are, it is you, are, you own yourself but for you to um own yourself you should give god all the glory because god created you and he created you for a purpose right the purpose is to glorify him for support made us to understand that and they glorified god in me you understand that's what i was supposed to say and that one tweet has been a, my own line of phrase as well and they glorify god in me if you are working with people who who even people outside can see with you uh, you know we have some kind of people in eh, there are different type of people when they see you with somebody like this they're like, eh i'm like by that corner here working with it eh jesus people not take by the bible sharing 
are you getting it? So you should please be sensitive. Don't want people that will um put your life on their marriage. Don't want people that will pull you down. Don't want people that you that will pull your spirit out. Okay, me. I, if you want to be my friend, you are welcome. If you want to be my enemy, mm -hmm, you do with God. You and God, you be <laughs> it's mama fine. But if you want to be my friend, okay, I have some rules guiding my life. You can't like you can't force me to do something I don't want to do. My friends know the ones I have, the little ones I have, they know. You can't force me to do something I don't want to do. Except I wish to do it before. Except I have planned in my mind I'm going to do this thing before you brought your before you brought the idea. Then I'll do it. But if I'm not ready to do it, there's no way you will do it. You can't force me to do it. So please and please, if you're in a, a friendship, um, if you're in, if you have a friend who is always forcing you to do things that does not glorify God, please quit. Quit the friendship. Quit that such relationship. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Are you getting me? Quit it. You are in a um a, a friendship. I will have you are in a relationship. If I'm a friend, a relationship that um when you you in, okay, this is me. I have some friends like that also. When I go to them I, and I love to go to church sincerely. When I go to them and I ask you, ah, um this person, we have one program in our church today. Will you go? And you're like, I'm not going. Okay, I'll say okay. Oh. I understand. Maybe you have something you want to do, right? I understand. Okay, I'll come the next time. Me, because to be, I am not always tired. So I'll come. I'll come and meet you the next time, right? I'll ask you. Um, we have another program in church. Are you less busy? Can we go together? Because that's the, the best place I, I I I can never take you to. The best place I can ever take you to is the church. I don't have anywhere to take you. I don't love. I don't do this. I don't. Do so what do you expect me to do? And then you were like, no. You have something else to do. Okay. So the next time we have program in church, I will not bother to come and cook call you. I will just sit down. So please and please, if you are in, um, in such um, relationship, so there are limitations to such friendship. There are limitations to such friendship. So I see that this one um, is not ready to change. This one is not ready to come um, come into my own corner. Like you are that into my own corner, then I will just leave you. I will just let you be. That's the type of friendship you want to be on your. So I will just let you be. I'm still your friend. I'm not your enemy. I'm still your friend. I'm not your enemy. Are you getting it? I am still your friend. I am not your enemy. So please and please let your relationship be divine. Divine your relationship. De define your friendship. Define the type of friends you go um, around with. Define them. Some, you already know they don't glorify God. Yet, you are going. You are following them. You are following them. You, are fo you see, until when you get to God, until when you fall inside God, that's when we know that you are not supposed to follow this person. No! Wise up! Huh? It's better for you to be alone than to have friends. At times, if you if you notice that these these people you are in friend you are in relationship with, I mean friends, these people you called your friends, they are not adding to your value. They are not adding any value to your life. They are not adding any value to your to your um, spiritual life. Please leave them. Let them go. It is not by force. It is not by force. It is not by force. You, you should be everybody's friends. I hope this one is them. I hope this um, video is ministering to somebody. I hope this is ministering to somebody. So, well, this is all I can say. Don't force yourself on people. Be everybody's friend. But let there be limitation. Don't go deep. Don't go deep. Life is like, how would I even say it now? I hate to, I hate to, the don't feel anything. I hate to do that, that. Life is turning to something else day in day out. The Bible made us understand that evil communications corrupt good manner. Evil communication, they do what they corrupt good manner. So please and um, please and um, please, please, eh? If you are not thinking of anything else, remember your parents, remember how they struggle, remember their struggle, remember everything, and move away from friends who can tarnish your image, who can um, reduce the glory of God in your life. I hope that God will help you. And some people, the reason why they they, they, they are moving about like um, careless is because they don't have any work. Find yourself work. Eh? If you don't have work, look for work for yourself. Find one. If it is to carry your Bible and be reading it two for seven. Eh, eh, find one. If it is for you to um how will I would say to go and learn some skills, go ahead and learn it. If it is for you to to um how would I would to go to school, go get yourself educa educated. Stop um, moving around with friends who are going to tarnish the image of God in your life. Eh? Stop working with friends who are going to tarnish the image of um, the glory of God in your life. 
when mirrors mirrors don't understand that can two work together as if they agree can they work together he said they agree so before you can be somebody's friend that means you have um this deep agreement within you that you are going to be his friend and he's going to be your friend so that's how you eventually become the person's friend so please and please i hope um i pray the holy spirit will minister more into our hearts i pray the holy spirit will minister more into our hearts who will explain more about friendship for us and will guide us will guide us another steps will not lose it will not miss it Thank you for watching. God bless you. Um, please ensure that you give this video a thumb up. Let me know your views about this video in the comment section. Um, share with your loved ones. Share with your friends. There's somebody that needs to watch this. There's somebody that, that this is going to be of help to. Please ensure that you share it. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my other videos. Bye. <laughs> Then you're going to leave my help. I feel back. Don't worry, you will meet me there. That's why I'm not going to help you. I will mm -hmm. help you. But before then, you will meet me. Let them stop you though. I want to start my video. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kenny. I do your video rare for some people. Like, I'm Kenny. I feel more like some. What is it? So, please, I'm please. If let's. Evil, evil corruptions like